Trust me, do not skip this video. You clicked on today's video to learn how to dribble to the best of your capabilities in NBA 2K21. You see other people doing these cheesy dribble moves and you want to do the same. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best settings for dribbling, the best badges for dribbling, the best animations for dribbling, step by step with a controller cam, how to dribble in the my court. And I'm going to be showing you guys examples in the park. And if you have any questions, questions about any dribble moves I show in this video feel free to DM me on Twitter but let's get straight into this video man let's get what is good YouTube it's your boy Henry aka double HDF and I'm back in the building with yet another banger isn't it crazy that we are almost a month in the NBA 2k21 and we have yet to see an ankle breaker bro that is just stunning to me i'm not gonna lie we even have developers telling us that this was supposed to be fixed and it's still not fixed so i need everybody to drop a like on this video because every like equals one vote to bring ankle breakers back to 2k because i'm not gonna lie i don't even have playmaker takeover and i miss ankle breakers like i'm trying to see someone get snapped bro but anyways make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new if you're not subscribed really what are you doing i'm not gonna lie what are you doing but listen i'm gonna go over four different different things to make you a better dribbler okay now i'm not like these other youtubers that be doing these dribble tutorials they either try to explain it to you without showing a controller they're like oh um right stick to the left click x double tap y right stick down right stick to six o'clock to three o'clock to four o'clock to two. like bro, we don't know what that is and i also don't have that live hand cam where you can barely see where, where the stick is moving i'm gonna have arrows and in-game examples for you guys now why should you listen to me well here is my record at nba 2k21 right now and i iso with my slasher build and i also recently made a play shot that i just went on a high game win streak with and he's not even badged out yet so i'm pretty good at this game and i definitely have a lot of dribbling experience in this game now once again drop a like subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into the tutorial so we're gonna start with the best settings for dribbling so you're gonna go want to go to the options and settings now these settings are gonna make it so no matter where you are on the court you're gonna be able to do those same dribble moves by doing the same stick movement on your stick obviously so pro stick function default and then the other two ones on absolute those three settings you need to copy otherwise your dribbling is gonna be very like weird your dribble moves aren't gonna be consistent even though you're doing the same thing on the stick so make sure you copy down these settings now we're gonna be looking at badges so the best dribbling badges is obviously gonna be under playmaking you know shooting defense driving badges don't matter now the best playmaking badges when it comes to dribbling the best one is quick first step you need quick first step the second best one is handles for days so you can dribble the ball longer without losing stamina. The third best one is stop and go quick stops and shooting fast right when you get open off these zero moves are huge. And then another good one is unpluckable. You don't want to get ripped. You need to put unpluckable up. And then lastly, tight handles. Tight handles isn't that good this year, so that's why it's the worst out of these badges. But these are the best dribbling badges in order. Obviously, quick first step and handle for days are definitely the most important. And then stop and go, then unpluckable pluckable then tight handles now i'd like to clarify that these playing badges can only go to gold obviously hall of fame is going to be the best on all of these now a couple of things i'd like to point out before we go into the next step obviously buying boost at the boost stand right here even if it's ball handling will help you not get ripped as much and also if you go down to the gatorade facility over here and you do your all your workouts on your workout list you can get a plus four to all of your physical stats which is like acceleration stamina speed and vertical and all of those except for vertical is gonna help you and except for strength for dribbling you can also get a plus four to all these if you're a superstar too where you unlock the gym rat badge or if you win the finals in my career you can also get the gym rat badge so you won't have to do these workouts but if you do get these workouts done you will have those plus four boosts for seven days yes seven real days and now we're gonna go show you guys how to do all these dribble moves and the best dribble move animations now if you want to go practice these you can either go to the pro -Am arena over here or you can get to the my court but the my court as you can see gets really frustrating sometimes because uh the half court line won't stop flipping now here are the best dribble moves that you must use starting with dribble style quick now kyrie irving is also good but i'm using quick moving crossover pro 8 i heard pro 2 is pretty good too but i'm using pro 8 moving behind the back pro 3 moving spin pro 4 basic one is also a good moving spin 
Moving Hesitation Pro 8, Pro 3 is good as well. Six sides of Derrick Rose. Kyrie Irving's another option to look into, but I use Derrick Rose. Park size of Park 13. Basic size of Package Pro 6. Size of Escape Package Pro 2. These two moves right here are very important for the Curry slide as well. And Triple Threat Styles, Normal 7, WNBA 2 is good as well. But these are the drill moves I have equipped right now while I'm showing you guys how to do these drill moves. I'm about to show you. Now we're in the my court. Now look at the right stick and look at that as a clock when I'm explaining some of these things and make sure you have those dribble moves on. Now we're going to start with some basic ones. Then we're going to get into some advanced things. So the first thing is a snatch back. All you want to do this is hold the right trigger, run forward and just pull the right stick back. Okay. Simple as that. Now this is a regular size up. All you want to do is if the ball is in your right hand, hold the right while holding the right trigger, pull the right stick back diagonally left. And if the ball is in your right hand, just do it diagonally right and you're just tapping it you're not holding the right stick down now there's three different types of walking size ups this year now to do a walking size up backwards you just hold the right stick up and just pull the left stick back a little bit these are really underrated they can really reset possessions and stuff and you don't have don't touch the right stick at all now if you want to do a standing one you just hold the right stick up and if you want to go forward with it you just hold the left stick up a little bit while doing while still holding the right stick up obviously basically with these walking size ups to sum it up is you just hold the right stick up no matter what and wherever you want to go you just lightly push the left stick towards even if it's to the side to the left down up whatever as you can see in game a lot of these can like reset possessions easily like look at look at some of these like these are god like bro nobody uses these because they're new to 2k but they're actually really underrated i recommend trying them out in game now next is just a hesitation all you want to do is while holding the right trigger run right to left and just pull the right stick back that's all you want to do so run to the right while holding the right trigger right stick back left right stick back and you know this is a very easy move a lot of people can spam this move now our big one is quick stop but you don't want to get these fade animations like i'm showing on the screen right here you want to be able to stop on a dime now if you want to quick stop whatever dribble move you're doing just take your both hands completely off your controller for one second even if it's just a half a second and then hold x if you're even touching something else you could get dragged into a fade now some people tap lt or l1 right before they shoot to help them a little bit you could do that but to be honest it's better and more effective if you get it down to where you don't have to tap l1 and you just let go of everything at the same time so next we have the momentum crossover so for this one pay attention you're going to be holding the right trigger the entire time now all you're going to want to do you're going to tap the right stick up and hold the left stick to the left at the same time so i'm holding the right trigger tap and hold tap and hold tap and hold now it's vice versa when you go to the right so if the ball's in your left hand you push the left stick to the right and the right stick up if the ball's in your right hand you push the left stick to the left and the right stick up this is a very easy move to spam. This is really effective on ISO. Now, next we have a very easy move. This is the speed glitch in NBA 2K21. Now, as you can see right here, all I did was tap the right stick up and just move to the left. And look at that big speed boost I'm getting. Very easy move. Basically, when you're done doing a dribble, you just run out of it very easily. So if I'm running over and I tap the right stick up and then I just run to the left, that's literally all you need to do. And you can do the same thing the other way. Tap the right stick up and then just run to the right. Very easy, very glitchy. They're probably going to patch that very soon, but definitely something you want to take advantage of while it's out. Now, I'm going to show you guys like, three different moves right here that I like to use to attack to the paint with, especially on ISO. Now, right here is the double crossover. All you want to do is when you're running to the rim, just hit the right stick up twice, and it doesn't matter. Like You just do it back to back, and you do a little double crossover right there when you're driving. It's very effective. Now, the two other ones is a behind the back when I'm driving to the basket and a between the legs. So, for the behind the back, while you're driving to the basket, just flick the right stick to the left if the ball's in your right hand and if the ball's in your left hand just flick the right stick to the right now sometimes it gives you the between the legs which is the third move i was going to say but it's just all about angling if you practice this in the mic or you'll understand what i'm saying but right stick to the right and right stick to the left while you're driving while holding the right trigger as well now next is probably the most overpowered move in nba 2k21 the curry slot i'm sure you guys are all used to guarding this just about every play shot does it but now all you're gonna want to do is if the ball is in your right hand hold the right trigger hold the right stick diagonal down and just hold it just hold it i swear every time someone explains this they don't tell you to hold it just hold it down the ball's in your left hand hold the right trigger and hold the right stick diagonal down and that's all you do 
it's so easy to spam it's so easy to get open if you're using a screen this move is extremely overpowered and a lot of people think that it should be patched because of how overpowered it is next we have the spin back now to do this let's say the ball's in my left hand and i want to drive to the left all i want to do all you want to do is while holding the right trigger run there spin back from 12 o'clock to six o'clock and then as you're doing that pull the left stick back very easy move to do and very effective if you're on the right side once again hold the right trigger drive right left stick up 12 to 6 just like you see on the screen and then as you're doing 12 to 6 pull the left stick back next we have the half spin now with the half spin you're basically want to hold the right trigger now when you're running backwards if the ball is in your right hand all you want to do is pull the right stick from 12 to 6 just like you see on the screen right here and if the ball's in your left hand when you're running back you want to do same 12 to 6 but in the opposite direction from 12 to 6 very effective move if you're trying to um get right back into a possession that you're getting out of or you want to go back to the three-point line and i use this move a lot on my slasher build next we have the aggressive behind the back now all you're going to want to do for this one is let's say i'm running to the right do a hesitation and then hit your left stick to the left and your right stick diagonal down left very fast and it's the same thing if you're going to but the opposite side so if you're going to the left hesitation and then quickly right stick diagonally down the right and then the left stick right very easy move to spam and i highly recommend it now you can also get this move right here with this aggressive behind the back where you just let go of everything but as soon as you do the behind the back just right stick down very easy move and every once in a while you do this little snatchback right here people won't see it coming and you'll be able to change directions very fast and get an open shot easily now this next move i use a lot when i'm ice swing and especially after i'm rim running a lot because people will expect me to rim run and sometimes i won't sometimes i will but basically all you're going to do is hold the right trigger and as soon as you run forward with the left stick just right stick up okay and you can spam this and this is how you're going to want to do it so you're going to want to hold the right trigger and hold the left stick up and as right after you hold the left stick up just tap the right stick up and you can spam this very well you have to get used to it because sometimes it'll just do a crossover so but you'll know what i'm talking about once you get into the my court once again as soon as you hold the left stick up just tap the right stick and once you do it once you can spam it a lot very easily after that now there's a lot of moves that you can combo out with and you need to string a lot of these moves together so after learning all the moves i just told you try to string some of these together because all these dribbles are very effective on iso with play shots really anything and they can get you really open very easily especially moves like the curry slide the aggressive behind the back the, the half spin all those moves a one i recommend stringing together well is the aggressive behind the back and into a curry slide or a curry slide into a aggressive behind the back there's no there's no adding anything you do a curry slide and then you do aggressive behind the back you do aggressive behind the back and then right out of that you just do a curry slide now another one you want to do is the double aggressive behind the back all you want to do for that one is once again you do it once you do one aggressive behind the back you let go of everything and then do it the other way very easy and very effective if you're using screens on a play shot or if you're trying to drive to the basket on your iso build now if this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like on the video because this took a long time to edit and record hopefully we get ankle breakers back soon in nba 2k21 and if you guys want any more tutorials let me know in the comment section below i'm also going to be streaming a lot more here on youtube so make sure to turn on notifications and make sure to follow me on twitch as well but like i said if you haven't already subscribe to the channel we're on that 400k grind it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and I'm out, y'all. I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same, brother than my dog. She said, can you stay with me? No, I gotta go. Diamond dripping off my deck. It's wet, I'm about to flex up on my decks. With a jet, you said you with it, but I'm next. I'm the best.